Welcome back to Legendary Tributes. Wilma Briggs was an American left fielder in the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League who played from 1948 through 1954. Listed at 5 foot 4 inches, 138 pounds, she batted left-handed and threw right-handed. She led the league in home runs during the 1953 season and ranked second in all-time home runs. Briggs was inducted in the Rhode Island Heritage Hall of Fame in 2013. Briggs died on September 4th at 92. Edith Marion Grossman was an American literary translator. Known for her work translating Latin American and Spanish literature to English, she translated the works of Nobel laureate Mario Vargas Llosa, Nobel laureate Gabriel Garcia Marquez, Myra Montero, Augusto Monteroso, Jamie Manrique, Julian Rios, Alvaro Mutis, and Miguel de Cervantes. She received the Penn Ralph Mannheim Medal for Translation and the 2022 Thornton Wilder Prize for Translation. Grossman died from pancreatic cancer at her home in Manhattan on September 4th at 87. Stephen Scott Harwell was an American singer. He served as the lead vocalist for the rock band Smash Mouth from its formation in 1994 until his retirement in 2021. Their songs included Walking on the Sun and All Star. Harwell died at his home in Boise, Idaho on September 4, 2023, one day after his manager Robert Hayes announced he was in hospice for final stage liver failure. He was 56 years old. James Yancey Jones known professionally as Tail Dragger Jones, was an American Chicago blues singer. He performed beginning in the 1960s and released four albums. Jones gained a certain notoriety in 1993 after being convicted of second-degree murder for the killing of another blues musician, Boston Blackie. Jones, a disciple of Howlin' Wolf, was given his nickname by his hero because he regularly arrived late at Howlin' Wolf performances. He died in September 2023 at age 82. Eddie Doyle Meter was an American professional football player who was a cornerback for the Los Angeles Rams for the National Football League from 1959 to 1970. Meter died on September 4th at age 86. Farron Murad was an American physician and pharmacologist and a co-winner of the 1998 Nobel Prize in Physiology of Medicine. Farid Mirad died in Menlo Park, California on September 4th at 86. Gary Malcolm Wright was an American musician and composer, best known for his 1976 hit songs, Dreamweaver and Love is Alive. Wright's breakthrough album, The Dreamweaver 1975, came after he had spent seven years in London as, alternately, a member of the British blues rock band Spooky Tooth and a solo artist on a and Records. While in England, he played keyboards on former Beatle George Harrison's triple album, All Things Must Pass, 1970. Wright died on September 4, 2023 at age 80. Lee Holiday, the stage name for Lemoyne Gardner Ketchum, was an American singer, dancer, and record producer. Aside from Johnny Holiday, Ketchum also worked as an artistic producer for Les Lyonco, Herbert Leonard, Nanette Workman, Lucky Blondo, and William Scheller. Lee Holiday died on September 5, 2023 at age 95. Molly E. Hall Schlag was an American author, lecturer, and advocate of the open web. She wrote or co-authored 35 books on web design and open standards, including the Zen of CSS Design, Visual Enlightenment for the Web. She was nicknamed the Fairy Godmother of the Web. Holschlager was diagnosed with aplastic anemia in 2014. She had spoken about the problems with health care funding and raised over $70,000 through GoFundMe in 2013 to fund her chemotherapy. Holschlag was found dead in her Tucson home on September 5, 2023. George LaFont was an American movie theater industry businessman from Berkeley, California. He owned LaFont Sandy Springs, a movie theater in Sandy Springs, Georgia, 
the most common venue for the Atlanta Jewish Film Festival. His previous endeavors include the Silver Screen, a theater in Buckhead he founded in 1976, and the Coach and Six Restaurant in Atlanta, which he owned before selling it in 1994. He also purchased the Plaza Theater in 1983, after which he converted its balcony into a second theater with 200 seats. George died on September 5th at age 85. Larry Chance was an American musician and the lead singer of the popular 1960s doo-wop group Larry Chance and the Earls, known initially as the Earls. Larry Chance died on September 6th at 82. Richard Davis was an American jazz bassist. Among his best-known contributions to the albums of others are Eric Dolphy's Out to Lunch, Andrew Hill's Point of Departure, and Van Morrison's Astral Weeks, of which critic Grail Marcus wrote in the Rolling Stone Illustrated History of Rock and Roll, Richard Davis provided the most incredible bass ever heard on a rock album. After two years in hospice care, Richard Davis died on September 6th at age 93. Steve Roden was an American contemporary artist and musician. He worked in sound and visual art and is credited with pioneering lowercase music. This compositional style amplifies quiet and usually unheard sounds to create complex and rich soundscapes. His discography of multiple albums and works of sound art include Forms of Paper, which the Los Angeles Public Library commissioned. Roden was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's disease in 2017 and died at his home on September 6 at age 59. Louis Vitale, OFM, was a Franciscan friar, peace advocate, and co-founder of Nevada Desert Experience. His religious beliefs led him to participate in civil disobedience at peace demonstrations and acts of religious witness over 40 years. Vitaly has been arrested more than 400 times in the name of peace. Vitaly stated that Francis of Assisi, Mahatma Gandhi, and Martin Luther King Jr. inspired him. He died on September 6th at age 91. Charles Gale was an American free jazz musician. Initially known as a saxophonist who became prominent in the 1990s after decades of obscurity, Gale also performed as a pianist, bass clarinist, bassist, and percussionist. Charles Gale died on September 7th at 84. Edward William George Hyde was a multi-classic winning British jockey. For a time, at his peak, he was the sixth most successful jockey in British racing history and remains the ninth most successful jockey over 30 years after his retirement. Hyde died on the 7th of September at age 86. That's a wrap for today. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel to see our latest content.